Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, Dayton Squad. So on today's video, I will be showing you guys on how to register with Bureau of Quarantine and how to request your Bureau of Quarantine certificate after you have received your swab test result. Details coming right up. So you are on your day 6 in your hotel and somebody from the private laboratory that's going to initiate the swab testing has been there and have already swab test you for COVID-19 and you have received your COVID-19 test result. So what are you going to do next after you have received the result? This is when the Bureau of Certificate comes in. There are two process in order to receive it. First, you have to register with the Bureau of Quarantine website. Then second, you have to email the Bureau of Quarantine and attach your swab test result. I will be showing you guys the steps on how to do it. So here we go. To start, just type in quarantine in the search bar in Google and you should be able to see the quarantinecertificate.com or the doh-boq registration. Click on that and you should be redirected to the main website. On the side, you will see different sets of information that you need to fill out. such as last name, first name, and middle name, and also your extension name if you have any. Then your birth month, birth date, and your birth year. They will also ask for your gender, then your cell phone number, of course, the email, please put in an active email because this is where they are going to send your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate. Also, don't forget to fill in your passport number if it's applicable. Make sure to put that in there. Then your region, your province, your city then your barangay so you will have drop down menus in there that you can choose uh, where you're from and then you need to upload the data page of your passport in this area here then when everything is complete you can hit submit and that's it that's how you register with the bureau of quarantine now let me show you on how to email the Bureau of Quarantine and attach your swab test result. So in your email, compose a message and email to boq.qc1 at gmail.com. The subject would be request for BOQ certificate. So your email will go like this. Good day. I hope this email finds you well. I am writing to you to request my BOQ certificate. Attach is my COVID-19 swab test result for your reference. The following is my contact information. Of course, you have to write your name, your address, contact number. They already have this information when you register at their website. But just in case and to make it quicker, give them this information because this is what the information that is going to show up on your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate. That way, they already have the information right away. Then you can attach your swab test result on this email. After that, you finish up your email with thank you, regards, your name, then you click send. So after your email request to Bureau of Quarantine, they will reply to you with your Bureau of Certificate already. 
And that is the process on how to request for your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate. I hope these steps will help our Kababayan, especially to those who are still on quarantine and waiting for the results. So as soon as your results comes in, do these steps so that you can get your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate. So I don't really know when it comes to the timeline on the reply from the Bureau of Quarantine. With my time before, after I have requested for the Bureau of Quarantine Certificate, they responded to my email in 15 minutes. But if in case they have not responded to you right away, give them at least within the day. You should get your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate. And if in case 24 hours had passed, contact them on what's going on with your Bureau of Quarantine result. I will leave the contact information of the Bureau of Quarantine in the description box. You can email them to follow up with your request. You can also call them to follow up with your request. They have mobile numbers and landline numbers. I will leave all that in the description box. Another way to follow up on your Bureau of Quarantine certificate you can ask the front desk of the hotel you are staying in because they also know if the Bureau of Quarantine Certificate has been sent because sometimes BOQ will be sent in the hotel where you are staying in. So just in case you don't receive the email after you requested it and nobody is answering their phones and all that stuff, you can ask the hotel front desk if your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate is already in and another thing also check your spam folder because for some reason it gets sent over there so if you don't see it in your regular inbox make sure to check your spam folder because it might be in there so these are the ways you can check if your bureau of quarantine certificate is already received or is already sent by the bureau of quarantine Thank you so much guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family whom you know that can use this video as reference. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We do travel updates and if you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on updates like this. And to our subscribers and new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel, The Eaton Squad. I hope to see you guys in our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye!